Hey guys, hoje tem um convidado muito especial, é o meu primo, ele se chama Dylan. You can say hi. Hello. <laughs> Acabamos de fazer mais um vídeo no meu canal com dicas de inglês, com as gírias de ensino médio aqui nos Estados Unidos. Então, se vocês ainda não conheceram meu outro canal, ele se chama Gringando Seu Inglês. E eu tô oferecendo aulas e dicas de inglês lá. Então, se inscreve no outro canal e dá uma olhada no vídeo que acabamos de fazer sobre essas gírias de ensino médio. Mas agora tem um vídeo sobre como que é ensino médio nos Estados Unidos. You are in your last week of high school yeah. here in the US. So I have a few stereotypes from films or TV shows, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. about high school in America and how it is. Mm -hmm. So the first one I wanted to talk to you about, everybody knows the movie Mean Girls, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you have the popular kids, you have the nerds, mm -hmm. you have the jocks. Is it true? Is it still true that there's groups of different people and like group friend groups and is it divided in the same way that it was maybe 10 or 20 years ago? It's not that it's not as divided, but th there can definitely like tell there's some social stratification, I guess. Okay. But for the most part, we're all friends with each other. Like we don't care about um social status. Okay. Yeah. So like the jocks can be friends with the emo kids or Even like you, are, are there still emo kids or <laughs> No. No? I, th I guess you could say the jocks and the nerds, like, those groups don't really exist as they used to. Okay. Like, now the jocks will be really into studying, and, like, the nerds will be good at, like, sports. Really? Yeah. So, like, so, everybody kind of does more than they used to. So it's kind of blended together. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. So one other thing that I just found out, so you were voted best dressed. Yeah, I was. In your school. <laughs> So tell me how that came came about. Oh, well, the yearbooks at the end of the year have like a the senior superlatives they call them. Okay. Like, uh, best dressed, most likely to succeed. Mm -hmm. um, and I got best dressed. Did your brother win anything? He did not. No, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what about like uh, prom and homecoming? And is it exactly like it, it? It's they show it in in movies and stuff. It's pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. You all meet up for like pictures at some place, then you drive together to like the place where the dances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually there's a party afterwards. Do they have? Do they still do like homecoming queens and kings? We do and have stuff? those. Yes. <laughs> Did you? I mean, at your high school, was it really formal like they show in the movies, or was it? No. Just like like as you walk in, you you cast the vote, and it would be like a, it would be very casual. It did, I mean, do, does anybody really care? No. Like, okay, yeah, I didn't think so. That, that's how it was at my high school either. And I think that's how it is at most high schools. Yeah. But for some reason in movies, they yeah. show it like the high school uh, homecoming queen yeah. is like the queen of, it makes you the, <laughs> the most popular person in the school yeah. and everybody loves you and is jealous. But it's not really like that, is I it? I can't remember a single homecoming king or queen. Yeah. What about parties? What are parties like? Parties are like a, you, there's a lot of like, there's music playing with the popular songs are. Mm -hmm. I uh, There's like those red solo cups. Uh huh. I heard that other countries think that's a, a myth, but we really do have those. Yeah, they, even parties that I go to now yeah. have those. Are there a lot of drinking games at high school parties? Like beer pong? You still play beer pong? Yeah. Well, I, I hope my dad doesn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Not but... you, Dylan. No, I've heard... But I've other heard... high schoolers. Yeah. What do they do? I've heard rumors of kids playing beer pong. Okay. Um... A lot of games with like ping pong balls where you try to like get it into the cup. So for the Brazilians who don't know what beer pong is. Oh, uh, you stack, it's like you play with a, a ping pong table uh -huh. and you stack the cups up on each side and you try to get the ball into the cup on the other side. And mm -hmm. if you do, they have to drink the cup. And as the game gets on, you get worse and worse. Cause right, you're drinking right. More and more. And then the team that wins is the team that makes all of the yeah. other team's cups mm -hmm. first, right? Exactly. Cool. Do you go to people's houses when their parents are out of town? Yeah, their parents like... usually aren't, aren't there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it was. At right. least at the fun ones, they aren't there. Yeah. But are they like, do they get wild and out of control like like you see in, in movies and stuff? No, there aren't like parties spilling out onto the lawns. It's, we don't want to get caught. Yeah. <laughs> that's... And there's a lot of police officers in Irvine. Really? It's a safe town, so they don't have much to do. Right. So they can they look for parties to bust. Have you ever been at a party that has gotten busted by the by the police? I've been to a party where the police showed up, but, but then usually they're pretty cool about it. Unless like people are passed out, you yeah. know, in the kitchen and thrown up everywhere. Mm -hmm. They're usually just at least my experience was they show up, they tell everybody to go home. Yeah, exactly, and that's it. 
All right, so now, so something that's kind of, has really changed since I was in high school is mm -hmm. that high schoolers nowadays are really socially aware. Mm -hmm. They're politically active, yeah, even absolutely. though um, usually high schoolers can't vote. But nowadays it seems like we, we have, you know, high school walkouts to protest mm -hmm. things like gun violence and yeah. stuff. Why do you think high schoolers nowadays are more socially aware and, and politically active with those kind of things? I think it's social media. Like, you get a better sense of the world mm -hmm. from going online, and you can get, like, a sense of what's going on. So that kind of helps us be, like, aware of <laughs> politics and, like, social issues. When it comes to um, stuff like, like, we've had, I can't even remember how many oh, yeah. high school shootings mm -hmm. in the United States in the last few years. So how does that, I mean, we ever at school and felt unsafe because of that kind of thing? More like we understand it's a real reality now. It mm -hmm. could happen. And that's, that sucks. Yeah, it does suck. No, I mean, it's, it's, a... it's like, I mean, there was just another one this week, and it's it's like high schoolers have enough to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're going through enough already. You, yeah. don't, you shouldn't have to worry about that kind of thing, right? Yeah, I agree. So did your school have a walkout for the Parkland shooting? Yeah, a lot of schools in the area across the country had a walkout. Something that they might not know is that you, you have, schools have to have plans in case something mm -hmm. like that happens. So yeah. really, I, I think every high school in the country now has a active shooter mm -hmm. scenario where, you know, the teachers are told to do one thing, the students are told to do one thing. It was actually the day after the Parkland shooting, we uh -huh. had a lockdown drill and they closed all the doors. They, shut the blinds, we turned the lights off, and we all mm -hmm. hid in the corner. And that's what we would do if there was a shooting. We would just hide and wait for the police to arrive. That's so crazy, man. It's yeah. just, it, I mean... It's much more like a reality at this point. Mm -hmm. Which, mm -hmm. like, again, Trendy. sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So in Brazil, they all go to school, they all wear uniforms to school. Uniforms? Yeah, so what do you think about <laughs> wearing uniforms to school? At being the best dressed in your <laughs> class, how do you feel about... Oh, no, no. <laughs> You never would have to like worry about what you're gonna wear that day. That's true. But for you, I would imagine that's probably like a bad. That'd be a bad thing, right? <laughs> well, I like the individuality. Everybody kind of dresses mm -hmm. their own way. If kids had to wear a uniform, they'd be mad because they like wearing sweatpants and like. Uh, well, the, I will say the uniforms did look pretty comfortable. I mean, they're like they do look like sweatpants and like uh, oh, t-shirts. Cool. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot yeah, for absolutely. coming, doing the video. Fun. I learned a lot about uh, high school nowadays. It, mm -hmm. it really has changed a lot, even in the last 10 years since absolutely. I was in, in high school. So I appreciate it. Good luck. You're going to uh, <laughs> college next next year. Yep. So that'll be exciting. <laughs> então, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau.